Okay, um, pretty sure I'm about ready to start. Just gotta check my audio real fast. Okay, all right, yeah, that's uh, that's good enough for me. <clears throat> gotta untangle my uh, SNES controller real quick. There we go. All right, we're going back in on uh, Castlevania 2, unfortunately. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably uh, go ahead and... Pull up a <laughs> walkthrough yet again. Um, there's the one I was using. Gotta figure out where we were. Bram's Mansion, I believe? I think? Yeah. Yeah, Bram's Mansion. <clears throat> we should have Dracula's eyeball if I pull this up. Yep, we have the eyeball. What's happening? Why am I not getting any audio? I got the game up now. What the hell? Huh. That's really weird. Okay, adding it on XSplit. Go ahead and leave the uh, uh, wrong one. There we go. Leave that up. Um, removing it from XSplit gave us audio on the TV, but not. Oh, okay. Um. Alright, this is a literal nonsense, but if we have not the hard equipped. Oh my god. <laughs> and we talk to the fairy man to get it to. Oh, okay. Uh, creepy. 
Oh, well, let's cast him. Can't really get too mad at him. Oh, wait, wait. We're supposed to stay on the fairy. Which means I need him back. There we go. And then when he goes back to the left, we'll be in a completely identical looking area that is actually somewhere else. This is the dumbest shit. Anyways, there should be an Alba now. I'm gonna stand here until morning. Let's see. Go to the left until you see a gray man on the platform above you. Uh, talk to him and get the red crystal. I still remember the one time I encountered a password. I saved the continue and it didn't work. I checked, double checked, and it was exactly correct. That sounds like this game, honestly. Spitting out passwords that don't actually function. Oh, wow, that could have been bad. How many hearts do we have? 54. We have all the items we'll need from this town, other than um, the red crystal, which is coming up. on Virtual Console, you save state and place of using the passwords. It's as if you left the NES on overnight. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that there were actually people who probably left this game running overnight back in the day. The passwords in this game are less than reliable, if I remember correctly. I only have ever really used passwords in two Castlevania games. And that was Castlevania 3 and uh, Bloodlands, I believe is the game. The one on Genesis. I'm just now realizing I forgot to uh, take my allergy meds today, so this will be a fun stream. Don't mind the coughs if you hear them. I do like the, uh, the aesthetic here, although I feel like if I had to live here, my eyes would burn out. Okay, it said that the man in gray was on the left, and I don't see him. Maybe he's all the way at the top? Have to get a red crystal here and then we'll be good. Here's the question is this gonna be anything useful or is it gonna be? trash. <coughs> nope, we have garlic. So this was trash. And this game had a few more music tracks. What's here is pretty good, but it gets repetitive. Yeah, which is why I'm enjoying doing this over a couple of uh, pretty spread out days. As opposed to... Uh, all at once, which is how I played through it the first time. My first playthrough of this game was on the Wii Virtual Console. No save states, but you could... It did have, um... Like... You know, you shut the game off here and it would, um... It would bring you back to where you were. I don't know exactly the technical term for that, but... Um... I think I call it suspend points now. Do you need to 
certain item equipped for the guy to appear. Maybe? Let me check the... Go no left until you see Gray Man. Uh, no. Uh, the guide says nothing about it. Here, I'll try equipping the eye. Yes, it's him. We needed the eye. Good call. Alright, um... Is it the graveyard duck? Go left from... I'm sorry, the graveyard what? Just gonna be heading out to the left from here. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed they never gave this game a uh, remake treatment. fan projects, by the way. I'm talking, like, official Konami stuff. <laughs> Lords of Shadow! Make of the original trilogy, I probably wouldn't hate it anywhere near as much. I'm sorry, where are we now? Oh, we took a wrong turn. It had whips? Yeah, you're correct, it did have whips. I'd like to define it more as it had Kratos' uh, chain blades, but... You know, I'll give it that. The story was kind of neat, but it ended kind of terribly. What Swords of Shadow like? Uh, if you've played God of War, you've played Lords of Shadow. They're the same game. Not like PS4 new God of War, like old God of War, like the PS2 games. They're very similar. Um, they have an entirely original plot, which starts pretty good, and then it gets really dumb. And then they end it with a really, really sort of bad thing. Okay. Alright, gotta start. <laughs> Kratos is bald. You're right! Gabriel has pretty boy anime hair. Except it's not even anime hair. like, morally questionable. Ah, uh, bad, like, uh... Like... Well, what's the best way to describe this? Yeah, just bad, I guess. They sort of, like, ditch a lot of cool concepts, and they... We'll get there when we get there. Kratos is Gabriel Belmont. Skeleton is strong. Oh my god, these slimes! Oh well, we spawn back literally exactly where we died, so. It matters pretty little. Be 
yeah, I highly recommend avoiding Lords of Shadow. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's... It is this. <laughs> I completely fucking forgot about this part. You equip the red crystal, and then you kneel against the wall for a while. I'm pretty sure this is the wall. They say that canonically Simon gets slimed with that, and that's how the bloodline dies out. Hold on. Um. Oh, I have to use garlic here. This is not the uh, the cliff wall that I'm thinking of. Go ahead and re-equip that. What was that for? I'm sad to hear that you're sad, Jay. I think this the second case. It was, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. Go back the way you came. Go up the three flights of stairs. From there, go left. Okay. represents life quite well. Yeah, life sucks and then you die. Works. Oh, Jesus. The camera is very unhappy with me. serious or if you have to really like think about it because he's the only Belmont that ever gets cursed like this the only one hence why this game's canonicity is questionable um, and on top of that he's the only one who doesn't do like anything significant for the storyline he just he beats Dracula he's another dude who beats Dracula So we need to buy something here for 200 hearts. Well, we're gonna be here a while. Really doesn't help that the nearby enemies are slimes. Granted, they drop a lot, but they're still slimes. Now, we're gonna keep our chat uh, spoiler-free for Danganronpa, especially since this isn't a, uh, a Danganronpa stream. But yes, I completely agree, that character is also my least favorite. I don't like these weird zombie ghoul guys. Alright, 
not seen D3 yet. So we're gonna keep it spoiler free. For the most part. Although if you have never played Danganronpa, I highly recommend it. Uh, all of the games are incredible. Even the anime has its merits. I've gotten pretty massive spoilers before. Yeah, that's that's the Danganronpa fan base for you. They love spoiling these games. It's weird. Alright, grinding for 200. Don't worry, I want the hate to build. Owl House and Duncan Rumpa. That sounds like a good day. I find that hard to believe that Bill Cypher's voice actor can pull off cute. I don't trust that triangle, man. I guess that's one thing I can talk about. I, uh, sort of binge-watched the entirety of Season 2 of Gravity Falls, uh, a couple days ago. And it's, like, really good. Vanquish the horrible night. Oh no. For once, I didn't want that to happen. We're at 194. We're almost there. 198. Tiffany. I loved that episode. That was great. Seuss episodes are the best. Sun has lowered the monetary value of this area. Okay. I despise these little slime fuckers. I do not like them. Oh well. We don't have to deal with them for much longer, hopefully. I say, as they probably appear throughout the entire game. I knew you would also stand eats kids. <laughs> that eats, <laughs> I eat kids thing had me laughing so hard I couldn't fucking breathe. <laughs> and that's not even the only time they bring it up.
gotta love enemies that aren't so aren't as tough as they are incredibly annoying. I completely agree. It's like, okay, yeah, they don't deal as much damage when they hit me, but they hit me 40 times before I'm able to hit them. And that's about how I feel about those, uh, the slimes. Now, the guy didn't actually say where the, uh, the item I'm looking for in this town is. So... We'll see if I end up finding it before nighttime again. Wow, there's quite literally nothing up here. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Just in case. Jinx, it's now nighttime. No, please. I'm pretty sure that little tea thing there just, uh, I've been in that room. Uh, tells me whether, like, how close I'm getting to nighttime, so. It's currently 11 a.m. in game time. What? What does that mean? It's this lady! Real talk, what is anyone in this town talking about? said this place's name was Borba. This game really does deserve a, uh, a proper remake. Metroidvania style, the big map. Something like Order of Ecclesia, maybe. Hey, look, they excavated the floor for me this time. Yes, 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 that's what we're looking for. We now have a thing at the end of our whip. I am an honored guest because I've died so much. That is that is correct. But we have the second strongest whip in the game, according to the guide. The strongest, I believe, is the flame whip. I think. Again, it's been fucking forever, so don't quote me. But 90% certain it's the flame whip. I don't- I, if I remember right, you don't buy it, it's like hidden somewhere, really obscure. We'll need laurels. We can carry up to eight of them?! Oh, I don't want to grind more, but I'm gonna need to grind more. Is there a good grinding spot outside here? Yes. Wow, you, you're right. There's no way to hold that many. <laughs> Danny Laurel, I remember that. That was a weird period of time. I guess I'll grind up a hundred and we'll buy a small handful of them. Once the sun comes back up. We have, uh, an hour and a half to finish the game. So, we should be fine. Hey, we 
Ich hab's einfach We're at 100. I'll just grind up some more. We have the night. <laughs> This isn't quite wrestling with Oprah, but a good supplement. What? I'm so confused. Oh, are you referring to how this is basically in place of our game nights now? I was very confused for a moment, but I think I get it. You're, you're talking about Paper Mario. Got it. There we go. We should be uh, mostly capped on laurels now. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's been so long. I hope quarantine ends soon so we can get back to Paper Mario. Okay. I understand where I have to go now. And the answer is unsurprisingly left. CJ, you gotta understand, when you throw out something like wrestling with Oprah, with no context, you confuse me. God. 
I should not have made that first jump. Dracula's nail may solve the evil mystery. What does that mean? Okay, so get this. The solution to this is to equip the red crystal, walk up to this wall, and crouch. Seems like nothing's happening, and that's because nothing is happening. However, if we wait for long enough... A literal tornado shows up. This game is stupid. <laughs> Dracula's gotta get his nails did. That's what they mean by the mystery. Okay, you gotta refer to my guide here because there's two routes through this mansion and one of them is four times as long. Take a shorter path to reach the piece of Dracula. Um, go to the right until you're at the dead end. Some are fake. Okay, got it. One of the towns people mentions that area, but as fate would have it, they do not mention the crouching thing. <laughs> I'm not surprised. about something about the uh, the order of this series. So, uh, should I do Castlevania 1, 2, 3 and then follow it up by doing the Game Boy games before we jump into the Super Nintendo ones? Or should I do the NES ones, the, su uh, the Super Nintendo ones, and then the, uh, the Game Boy ones? Oh wait, this is the longer route. I don't need to be going up here. Song is pretty sick. Yeah, I love the music for the uh, the manners in this game. Okay. But yeah, I'm planning on doing the Game Boy one. So. Where should we put them? Do we want to keep it all 8-bit for a while? Or do we want to, like, hit the Super Nintendo ones? Or... Because there's merits to doing both. I haven't played the games before. I mean, it's all down to preference. Would you like to have that little jarring moment of switching back from NES stuff? from Super Nintendo stuff to, like, 8-bit games, or... Because I can tell you right now, none of the Game Boy games have color. Like, none of them were produced for the Game Boy color. The Game Boy ones came first through those. I don't believe they did, but I'll have to see. Because I want to do all three Game Boy games in a row, because if we just stick to the adventure for a little bit, I'll want to tear my hair out. That game's kind of, like, infamously terrible. Decision made? Okay. I'll look into release dates, and we'll just do it in release order, then. That guy. I'm sorry? How many skeletons should we have on this screen? How about Bull's Die? Five.
<laughs> Hi, Simon. Probably not supposed to be here right now. You now possess Dracula's Nail. It gets me every time. Okay, what's the nail for? <laughs> All right, um... Oh, okay, the nail lets us break holy water blocks with our whip. Not really sure what that'll help with, but hey, it's something. Okay, familiarizing myself with the next bit, we're just gonna be leaving the mansion for a little bit. The only thing you've possessed so far is the golden knife, it's true. <laughs> we're collecting Dracula's nail clippings, oh no! his eye into our socket. But it's only there when we select it. Carrying around his rip is defense. <laughs> there we go. That was a short trip through that manner gonna head to the left, I'm assuming. Until they reach a lake, equip the red crystal, kneel. Okay. Always wanted someone else's eyes in my socket. Me too. Don't actually, like, kidnap me and put someone else's eye in my socket, though. I can't believe I haven't noticed it till now. There's hardly been any Medusas in this game. an inferno whip. Uh, it's literally the entire screen long and tall because of how many flame whips I can generate using this. It doesn't help that the game just can't fucking handle this. By any stretch. 
Like, it already struggles with moving platforms. Alright, now to the next manor. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna go to the left. The downside of this is game... <laughs> the game has a 90% chance of crashing. <laughs> to be fair, that's like normal NES quality, so... Simon dies literally instantly upon contact with normal water, but poison water he can go straight through, no problem. Oh, these head things are worse than the slimes. Oh, this is why it told me to buy so many laurels. safety save state here. Just in case anything goes wrong. Old card after all. Okay, now we are in La Ruba Mansion. Okay, so... Right till you see stairs, go up the stairs, then goes left and go up the stairs, jump to the ledge on the right, ignore a bunch of stairs. Got it. Turning man, but literal. Nice crimson blood aesthetic. I do like this area. It's very nice looking. Should have enough to buy another oak steak. This is gonna be where the second boss takes place. Sort of might be in my house. Okay, so we're gonna go up these stairs. We literally have the most powerful whip in the game and these guys still take two shots. Second boss is indeed going to be your pet bird, bird thing. Okay, and now we're in the second area. Man, I would appreciate being able to hit this guy more than once a century. Up 
over him. Oh yeah, I guess that works. Very nervous to try stuff like that because they can throw bones, as we see here. about like you can stop and get some free laurels, but I don't think I'll need them uh, anytime soon. Definitely don't need them enough to take a uh, bunch of time out of uh, out of the stream to uh, go get them. Especially since it's most that would be mostly backtracking. life wasn't worth living and he threw himself in the pit. Honestly, that's me after work. Boy. This is worrying. jump over this dude at this moment in time. There is a way to cheese it, but I don't remember what that method is. Isn't it like the knife? This, by the way, is, uh, I think her name's Carmilla. As we're going to see, uh, this is a very different Carmilla that, than the one that'll appear later in the series. Boy, she actually, like, killed me. Oh, well.
the head from Courage. You're right, and I kind of hate you. I'll take more. This is not the proper direction, but it works. <laughs> that item you got allows you to approach the bridge to Castlevania. Well, that's good to hear. Time for the smallest Castlevania in the series. Considering, you know, most of the time Castlevania is like the second half of each game. In this case, it's the last sixth. Maybe they shouldn't remake this entire game because a slide would break it wide open. Like any kind of sliding move would let me go through those like gaps in the platform. Dashing everywhere. Oh god, it feels so good. Or better yet, um I think her name is Shinoa. Shinoa style like cartwheeling everywhere. I think that's her name. I've been playing Order of Ecclesia recently. 
Uh, that game is really hard. Guide reading aside, um, yeah, I've been getting my ass kicked non-stop by that game. It's borderline cruel. fighting game moves. <laughs> Honestly, that's the saddest thing about the, uh, the Dracula X Chronicles remake. Uh, for me, like, a lot of people hate that it's in 3D, but I don't mind. Classicvania works kind of well in 3D. But what I do mind is that they didn't bring back any of his fighting game moves from Symphony. I know that they would have, like, broken the game right open, but if you're, like, a good enough player to pull them off, uh, you deserve it. <laughs> you should be able to shore you in the slimes. <laughs> the fact that I can't is a crime. That jump is, uh, not possible. You know, at the very least, these floating heads are Medusa heads. over here either. What? Uh. Ah. The silver dagger was not silver. Okay. That's fine. I can go through that for Okay, we're in the wrong area. Up here is actually, literally, completely pointless. Why is it here? I don't know. Okay. Very glad that saved me. I'm nervous to jump up from here. Someone was paid to make that part part of the map. <laughs> and then they willingly put nothing in it. Amazing. Go to the right, and then we'll walk past the mansion. No need to go back in. Okay. Oh no, 
Jay, it's your time. Oh. I wish the nighttime theme wasn't so repetitive. No, Medusas! Just when I was commenting that these little fuckers never showed up, here they are. Hey, is there anything to do in this town? No. There's a church! I guess I'll visit that. Alright, we're gonna be going right from this town after I find the church. Which means we're gonna be standing here until morning. I wish I could heal myself at night. That'd be wonderful. by doorway. Wish there was an equivalent of some song. Me too. The, uh, the double song of time from Majora's Mask where you just speed up time. That I want it real bad. Uh, Simon's Quest, but give it a Majora's Mask spin. Now some music support games or something like that, but those things have their own bad ending shenanigans. Yeah, I've played 64. I own it, actually. Uh, Legacy of Darkness, the really expensive one. I own both the original 64, uh... Castlevania Carmilla's mask. Yes, let's do it. She is a mask in the game, so it works. Anyways, um, yeah, I own both the original 64 and Legacy of Darkness. Sadly, my N64 mem card is kind of a piece of shit, so I've never actually played through the whole thing without it deleting my save. I made it pretty far in Legacy of Darkness. Yeah, those games are alright. I remember AVGN back in the day was really harsh on the original 64 one, which, like, I get it. But man, Legacy of Darkness is actually, like, surprisingly solid. Thank you! Finally! <laughs> My dad owned Legacy of Darkness, so that's fortunate. I didn't get far in it for whatever reason. Uh, the game's pretty hard for, uh, younger players. I, that's not surprising. Yeah, have you looked into how much that game is recently? Like, nowadays? It's expensive. It was the last thing I bought when I went to the, uh, Retro Gaming Expo I go to every year. The last thing I bought when I was there last time. Which, of course, is cancelled this year. The Retro Gaming Expo? Yeah. It's a lot of fun if you can ever, uh, go to it. Of course, that would be next year at this point. Okay. We are 
on the approach to the ending now. Which is perfect timing, because it's 11-11. Uh, God, they have reused this exact map like four times. Anyways, uh, this is the town of Yomi. There's nothing in it, apparently. Look at prices, you're very right about how expensive it is. Yeah, it's normally, it normally goes for 50 to 60, but I've seen it go for 70 to 80 in the past. It's like this because it's the entirety of the original Castlevania 64 built into it, along with a better game on top of that. And no one really bought it, because no one really liked the original 64 back in the day, apparently. Not when Symphony of the Night was out on PS1. Bird. Help! Bird. Yeah, uh, the story of me getting that game is actually kind of interesting. I, uh... I spend big when I go to these conventions. I save up literally every dollar I can. I save up, like, literally every dollar I can just to go to these things. And last year, my budget was, I think it was $400, uh, which is, again, quite a lot, but it's the only time of the year I get to buy games. So I go ham. And I was running low. Hey, look, we're at Castlevania. Anyways, I was running pretty low, and uh, I think I had $42 left. And I saw the game sitting in a case for 50, which, for Castlevania 64 standards, that is miraculously cheap. And, uh, I was heartbroken that I didn't have the extra $8, so I walked up to the guy and I was like, Look, I have $42, it's getting really late in the day, and soon you won't have a chance to sell that thing anymore. Will you take $42 for it? And he agreed, so I walked away with a very expensive game for like 40 bucks. And that was a lot of fun. Wow, the camera doesn't like this part. At all. and save state here. <gasps> oh, wow, we're actually, like, there. This is the final boss. Uh, a certain gaming magazine, I have not confirmed the name of, tried to crap on Symphony of the Night being like, Sony's game is a flat 2D game with cheesy monsters, but Nintendo 64's game has a rich 3D world. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Symphony of the Night and Cheesy are, like, no-brainers together, honestly. Using the fact that it's cheesy to attack, it feels weird. And then at the same time, calling N64's world rich 3D... Oh. <laughs> was Ocarina of Time out at that time? I'm pretty sure it was. That's a rich 3D world. Not whatever was happening in Castlevania 64. <laughs> As much love to Castlevania 64 as possible, I think the game's pretty alright. It is not Symphony of the Night good. Anyways, yeah, this is the final boss. This is Dracula, but again. Wow, it actually, like, takes me backwards. Oh well, uh, I'm at full health now. The flame weapon stuns Dracula with even more ease. We do not have that. I did not pick it up. <laughs> We're 
regretting that just a little bit now, but eh. What's done is done. I've never legitimately fought him, so it'll be interesting. This timer stops when you enter Castlevania. That's good. This area is very small for something labeled Castlevania. Oh wait, I have to go up here. Jump over this little wall. flicker all over the screen like a madman. Yeah. Basically. And they also decided to make him look near identical to death. Okay, we'll just be loading that save state from now on. We don't need to be walking through this area. Unlock, sadly. Not really sure why that is. I mean, I just don't have the timing down quick enough. That's why you don't play an evil washing machine. Ah, oh, God. The moment he breaks loose. Oh, my God. He's so... This boss is destructive. <laughs> oh, well. I wish there was a quick warp in this game. Honestly, kind of glad to be fighting Dracula normally here. Here, I'll... Ch what? I literally didn't press jump. <laughs> Stay up on the left side of the screen and use laurels. Okay. Kind of forgot I had those. ending. <laughs> yeah, uh, Simon dies. <laughs> but if you get the good ending, Simon lives, so uh, that's totally a good enough reason to suffer through this game fast enough, right? I got the middle ending, that's surprising. I totally expected the worst ending. Anyways, still not convinced this game's canon. <laughs> but 
yeah, this perfectly wraps up the Castlevania 2 is life metaphor, uh, because it sucks and then Simon dies. So it's perfect. take even longer, Simon's not even there and the screen is black and white also. The text is slightly more positive for some reason. That reminds me of how the um, uh, the Bioshock endings, forgive the spoilers, but uh, um, in Bioshock 1 if you finish that game and you uh, harvest all the little sisters in the game, you get a bad ending that's like really dark and sad, and then if you save some and harvest some, you know, like a little back and forth, you get that same ending, but the narrator is even more disappointed in you for some reason. <laughs> okay, so that is enough Simon's quest. Uh, gonna take a slight break. I'll throw up the, uh, the little splash screen here. Uh, I'm gonna take a slight break, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop in... Castlevania 3, and we are going to start that one, unfortunately. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. Got 
Dracula's Curse here, third entry. I haven't exactly been secretive that this one isn't my favorite. I kind of hate this game. <laughs> A lot. It's, uh... Poorly designed, is how I would put it. For whatever reason, they were like, yes, let's amp up the difficulty, but let's do it past the point of reason. I'm kind of amazed people know how this game ends, to be perfectly honest. Okay. <clears throat> well, might as well start it. Now, I am not going to lie, I am going to use cheats, guides, everything I can in order to tackle this one. If there is ever a single game in this series that is too difficult for me, it's, th it's gonna be this one. And also maybe the original Dracula X, that one I have not fond memories of. Like the SNES one, not the uh, TurboGrafx-16. Got some nice lore in here. All of this lore is explored elsewhere, uh, clearly, but it's interesting to see. Which reminds me, I still need to uh, watch through the Netflix series. Told myself I'd do it after um, I finished Bloodstained. I finished Bloodstains now, so might as well. I do like the idea of this opening crawl. It's cool. Anyways, we're just gonna start. I have about half an hour of this one here. I'm gonna name myself Trevor start off with, if we have to exit out and then use a, uh, a help me name, then so be it. Very nervous about this one. Oh god, hearing something that's not part of the Castlevania 2 soundtrack feels so good right now. Oh, I should probably, like, update this. We're just gonna s slap an extra... They have Grimoire of Souls listed on here. That's not even out anywhere but Canada, right? That's weird. I've heard that it's not good. That new, like, Canadian mobile game that they did. But, uh, not Canadian, so don't exactly know. Some Castlevania 2's best ending text. The encounter track was terminated. Simon Belmont has put an end to the internal darkness in uh, Transylvania. His blood and sweat have penetrated the earth and will induce magic and happiness for those who walk on this land. Oh. Okay. 
Simon becomes so holy that he... Middle ending. Although the confrontation between Simon and Dracula is concluded, Simon couldn't survive his fatal wounds. Trans Transylvania's only hope is a young man who will triumph over evil and rid the city of Dracula's deadly curse. Worst ending. The battle has consummated. Now peace and serenity have restored to Transylvania, and the people are free of Dracula's curse forever? And you, Simon Belmont, will always be remembered for your bravery and courage. What the- That sounds like it should be the middle ending! <laughs> what? I know I've seen the good ending at some point, because it's like... Kind of like an iconic animation or screenshot from the series, because it's Simon standing at that grave and standing up, I'm pretty sure. After the text scroll. Oh, uh, crawl. Of course. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Right here, right now. Also finishes with Dracula's grave shaking and his hand emerging from the soil. <laughs> wow! It kind of actually makes you like want to take 40 hours to finish the game. Dracula fight. I've heard horror stories about, like how he's just like pretty much damn near unbeatable sometimes. It's entirely RNG based, and that has me very worried. Not many people have finished this one, as far as I can tell. Um, I've looked into stuff online about it. And it's, like, the people talking about this game are a very small, like, niche group of people who are, like, super fans of the series. And love this one in particular for some reason. It's like, look, I get it. This one's, like, peak difficult Castlevania, but not exactly what I'm looking for in the series, you know? I've never played it for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. As far as I can tell, if you walk, as long as you're walking to the left when he puts up the, uh, the flame pillars, there's, you have a reasonable expectation of not getting locked in by them, but that's not foolproof. I have never finished this game on my own. Never finished the period. Uh, I think the farthest I made it was stage seven, and that made me just quit. That stage is so hard that I was like, no, I can't do this, I'll have a stroke. <laughs> That stage features the only two auto-scrollers in the entire series, as far as I'm aware. And it has both of them. And one of them, the continue point, is before, like, 
between, like, if you die on the boss, which the boss is already really hard, you go to the start of the second auto-scroller, which is also the harder one. So up here we can get a party member, which, uh, no thank you. I think this is the level I stopped on was a shipwreck or something. Uh, I'm not aware of any shipwrecks, but uh, this game has a ton of routes, so it might just be a route I haven't gone to. I'm gonna try a different route through the game this time. I'm gonna see if it makes my life any easier. Maybe it was the level after that. Yeah, uh, the level I'm referring to, it's a climb up the castle wall, and it's so freakishly hard. This game's OST is incredible. Castlevania's always had, like, peak NES music to me. And this game is no exception. No matter how much I don't like about it. Like, the game feels great to play, and, like, it performs solidly most of the time. It's just, it does shit <laughs> that I don't consider okay for a, a game to be doing, you know? Level design tactics in this one got, like, dirtier and dirtier. I've seen debate over whether or not this is the hardest game in the series, and I, I honestly think it is. I can't think of a single one that's harder, and I've played most of them. I can't say all of them, because I never did the Game Boy ones, but... I did a good majority. Dracula X got evil with a multiple routes concept. At some point, if you fall down a pit, you go to an alternative stage and are unable to get a good ending. Uh, yeah, that's why they remade it in Dracula X Chronicles, and it's cryptic, but you can go backwards in levels and shit, and it's A+. It's a really good, solid game. I wouldn't recommend playing the original. Uh, Chronicles is a much more streamlined remake. Best of all, it's on PSP, the easiest console on the planet to emulate. So. And it comes with a. I guess a touched up version of Symphony of the Night. Oh boy. Path select time. Hold on, does this website have Castlevania 3 on it? one I was using for Castlevania 2 might have Castlevania 3. It does not. At least not as far as I can tell. Alright, now to pull up a Castlevania 3 map. Can be hard to tell where each route will take you. I know it redid the dialogue to be more accurate to the original script. It did. Um, that's one criticism I actually have for it because I don't like that. I think the original dialogue is iconic, and if you're going to redo the audio and the script and everything, you should at least include like an option for people to use either the original um, script or the redone script, you know? Sadly, that is also the state that Symphony of the Night gets re-released like, re in to this day. Because with this... Uh, sad, like, redone script that's missing all the, uh, the great, funny shit. Oh god, is there any way to uh, not do seven? Oh, hey, there actually is a way to not do seven.
So according to this, we want to go up from here. Which, uh, just in case, we're going to save this in state uh, in slot one, so we can return to this choice anytime we need to. So yeah, uh, up around. I really hope I chose the proper. Ah, not a level I've seen before, so uh, this will be blind for me. Hold on, gotta just make sure I chose the right path. It looks like I did. Um, yeah, there shouldn't be another choice from here, it looks like. Jellyfish somewhere before. Did they make a reappearance in a Metroidvania? They might. That might be what I'm thinking of. Uh, how can you have Symphony of the Night Alucard not voiced by the guy who'd vo go on to voice Cygnus in Mega Man X7? That is not a joke. Uh, I am extremely worried by that. This level is shaping up to be very difficult. are hard paradigm. <laughs> like that. He did for Alucard too. <laughs> Except it's that 3D one that people like hated, right? Hey, I see Cypher. Ah! Bad touch. I know this guy. Yeah, Cyclops. I kinda fucked it up, I know the kill method for this guy. And sadly, I've already fucked it up. <laughs> oh well. First 3D one and guess it's generally considered a terrible game. Yeah, I remember that one. Oh boy, we're back at the beginning of the block. Awesome. Wow, we're actually, um... Further behind than we were here. Incredible. It's also the game with burn to the ground. I know that one. really odd about Mega Man. You'd think Mega Man would be like the perfect choice for one of those like weird arcade like um, rail shooters, you know, with like light guns and shit. 
and yet it didn't get one. But you know what did? Castlevania. There is an arcade game. I, I believe it's just called Castlevania the Arcade Game. Where you use uh, a light gun whip. And I wish I was making that up. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. People don't really talk about it all that much. Mainly because Castlevania is dead and Konami killed it, but it sounds kind of amazing. I've only seen footage of the Dracula fight, um, and it was kind of amazing, I'll be honest. It looks like it would have absolutely punched quarters, but hey, I mean, everything munches quarters, so... Oh, okay, I, that looks like it's not a wall, but it's a wall. Mega Man did get two arcade games which are very similar to each other. Yeah, they're closer to, like, fighting games, aren't they? It's kind of odd. It's like, sort of a, a like, fighting-esque game where you pick your, uh, your person. Okay, this is how you're supposed to beat him. He jump up here anytime he gets close. Stage seven, the one I got stuck on. Um, it has this boss in it, but there's no extra platform, so avoiding shit's just not possible. The former Mega Man, the power battle is kind of a prototype for the power fighters. I'm remembering these slowly but surely. That hurt my head. And here we get Cypher. <laughs> you know, thinking back on it, Castlevania really stayed out of the, um, the remake territory, didn't it? Take him with you! Hold on. Hold on. That's not right. Cypher Bell Nades is... a woman. I mean, we're taking him with me. Her. This game is hurting my head. <laughs> I'm sorry, did Cypher just say, I hope a magic spirit will give us the power? What does that mean? Pirate ship. Here we go. <laughs> we're gonna save state right here. Alright, literally completely uncharted territory for me. I don't know anything about the route up ahead. All I know is it takes me past the stage that I keep getting stuck on. Uh, I'll take it. Okay, the game despawned it right when I touched it. Stages of shipwreck, yeah. Seeing some of these uh, newer enemies get remade here. Oh! <laughs> Was not expecting the floor uh, to start giving out. I'm 
I'm so glad the fake floors are gone. valuable the ability to just walk forward in a video game is, and trust that the floor will catch you until that ability has been taken away. Okay, that was the first hit of this stage. Interesting. I now possess no fake floors, you are correct. We possess nothing now because we killed Simon because we were too slow. Friendship ended with Simon Belmont. Trevor Belmont is my new best friend. Oh. I cannot believe I made that jump. This game is only letting me make clutch jumps like that because it knows it's gonna torture me later. I was too slow to live but too quick to stop Dracula's curse. <laughs> that sounds like a mistranslation, I'm gonna be completely honest. Ah, uh, Medusa? Yep. This looks like a boy. Oh! Oh, no. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah, some theorized uh, that they were accidentally swapped. It actually... It absolutely sounds like they were just swapped on accident and that's why they're like that. Knowing the rest of that game's translation, I deserve to die like that. <laughs> Knowing the rest of that game's translation, um, it, that is 100% what happened. They didn't spell possess right, and the message shows up like seven mandatory times in the game. How does something like that even happen? <laughs> Who was translating Castlevania 2? <laughs> then suddenly they spelled it right twice, but only for boss items. He can aim down now? Ah! No. I've, I've almost got this boss figured out. It's the timing that's really hard. Please drop an orb. Nope. No orb. Oh, this game's so hard. I don't know why, but this this song is giving me Mario Land 2 vibes. And I can't quite place why. That'd be a fun game to stream. Not a whole lot of people really know about that game. Who knows, maybe after I'm uh, done with these marathons, I'll do an odd Mario marathon. None of the mainline Mario games, just the weird ones. At least it doesn't pull a keep this specific sub-weapon or be sent back a level.
I mean, that's just Castlevania 1 for- Oh, this is ambitious. Unfortunately. Anyways, you have to give Castlevania 1 some credit. Um, it's very okay. I see, they introduced this back here and it doesn't do anything. Okay. Try using Scythe for that boss fight. Maybe that'll help. Oh look, ambition. This is frightening. <laughs> you can feel that the devs kind of cared about this one more than they did Castlevania 2. Who knows? Maybe that's just the uh, the fact that the. Uh, the style of game is more suited to the NES. I am concerned. After cutting their teeth on a new game concept and realizing it didn't pan out as intended, they're probably eager to return to form with their at the time current experience. I can see that, yeah. Oh my god. Fuck this game to 10 points. see that being sort of what happened. Game, please. When I press A, that's like the jump command. Uh, I would appreciate it if you followed it. I'll probably end it on the next game over. Honestly. Maybe after this level, I might push through with save states. Uh... and I have work in the morning, unfortunately. You gotta love being a quote-unquote essential employee, right?
some wall meat, but I got nothing. Let's try switching to Saifa. I don't know what her attacks are. So she does that. That's it. Okay, not switching to Saifa. Wait a minute! There's no avoiding that! <laughs> How did... What? That's like... Actually unavoidable. I think literally the way I have to beat that guy is I just have to stand next to him and then just go nuts. actually have me. It did. It's just very rare. Like, even rarer than this one. I know of like four spots in the entire game with me. Not saying there are only four, just saying Casual couple of playthroughs here and there for me, and oh god, yeah, we're we're done. <laughs> we're absolutely done here. Once I hit this game over, we're stopping for the night, and we will pick this up on Monday. Anyways, yeah, a casual couple of playthroughs of that game under my belt, and uh, I've only ever found four wall meat total. There's like one of the first level, there's one of the second level, uh, towards the end of it. There's one in the... Please... It does not matter where I go. There we go. Anyways, uh, there's one in the death stage. Uh... There's probably more wall books than there is wall meat. That's true. I just regret that. Uh, I just realized you were referring to Simon's Quest. No, Simon's Quest doesn't have wall meat in any capacity. At least as far as I'm aware. I wasn't exactly whipping a bunch of random walls. Maybe there's a way to get some, but it would be very obscure and obtuse knowing that game. Oh, come on. I don't think it matters where I, uh, how far I climb up that staircase. I just get hit no matter what. It's like a choke point. Literally zero lives. I don't think we stand much of a chance against, uh, what's-his-face. Thought you really did find meat in Simon's Quest? Nope. 
There is none. <laughs> I was thinking you were referring to Castlevania 1. When I'm thinking of the game before Castlevania 3, I'm normally thinking of 1. 2 doesn't come to mind all that often. For good reason, honestly. game is a living nightmare. <laughs> oh well, hopefully next time we will uh, be less tortured by it. Yeah, let's go with that. Just gonna take another look at the map that I have pulled up. Um, yeah, as far as I can tell, this should take us past the stage that I was uh, stuck on. So, we should be fine for this playthrough. Although, uh, very nervous that I don't have Alucard. And also kind of nervous at where this map says that we're going, because uh, I don't like that. Anyways, yeah, uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching tonight. Uh, it was fun. Finishing off Castlevania 2, getting into Castlevania 3. Um... I'll try to put together, like, a little, maybe a little, like, schedule of the games. At least through, like, a certain point. Have that posted somewhere. Um, probably under this or in the Discord. If the Discord ever picks up Steam again. Um, picks up any Steam at all, actually. It never really got anywhere. Uh, yeah, um, I'll try doing that for both uh, this and Sonic. And then, who knows, maybe by next time I can um, fiddle around and paint um, and make a little uh, thing to help people remember what stream days are what. Have a good night. Don't dream of <laughs> don't dream of washing machine, Dracula. I will try not to, but he will haunt my nightmares forever. Yeah, good night. 